Hi, this is Ron from 724 Support TV. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a Supermicro 1U Atom server. Today we're going to include, in addition to the Atom server, 4 gigabyte of SoDim memory from Crucial, two Western Digital 320 gigabyte black 2.5 inch disks, a Supermicro 2.5 inch double bracket for holding them in a three and a half inch slot. These, by the way, uh, in addition to fitting well in a super micro server, are also cheaper than the aftermarket version. And an additional SATA power combo cable. So here's the inside of the box. So let's put some memory in here. Today we're using crucial four gigabit, four gigabyte kit, um, two times two gigabytes of storage of memory and that's all you can fit in the box so you couldn't really use this for anything that's going to take a lot of memory database server but if you're not memory bound so for example bastion host monitoring server we get quite a good use out of these from an active directory server um, FreeNAS works great on them, Server 2008 works great on them. In this particular case, we're going to use this for a monitoring server. We could have gotten away with 2 gig probably uh, without too much difficulty. Assembling the drives, this is annoyingly difficult, but um, fully functional. The 2 into 1 adapter works great. In this situation we're going to be using it in a production reliability critical monitoring server. You don't want the monitoring server to go down. So we're going to use RAID 1. HED cables come out here. A little cutout gives you room for that. But physical installation is kind of a pain. So cable end there. First one is going to go here, line the little holes up. Let's zoom in on that. Right here, I've got the holes lined almost properly up. Um, do this so you can see while I'm doing it. So again. A magnetic screwdriver is your friend. One of two. Um, just to show you, the inside of the case has got cutouts only for, or hole punches only for um, three and a half, mounting straight to the bottom. It does not have the two and a half inch mounting holes, so you'll have to use one of these adapters, even if you're mounting only one. Um, and it goes in like this. It's lovely. It's going to be your own real quick. So it's built. Let's put it in. For this, you're going to really want a very small um, Phillips or torque screwdriver because Super Micro haven't punched out the little plastic insulation for the holes. So you have to go punch those out yourself, probably save them a penny in the installation process. I suppose if you're using this without any hard drives whatsoever, you need to do that, but you do. So, these four little bits of plastic insulation get pulled out and then the hard drive contain, it goes right here, 
there's a hard drive cables, hard drive cables. So you should line the sign that says hard drive cables up with the hard drive cables. Remember those special hard drive screws? Now we're going to use them. By the way, this is much easier to do without a video camera. From the bottom, put one in, and then get it started and located. Again, because these are such small screws, we want to do that with some delicacy. finger tight, not more than that, but you want to make sure that they're flush on the back side so this can slide nicely into your server racks. Here then are the four. Just verify that they're snug. Right, the drives are now mounted, installed and mounted. We're going to attach the second drive with this combo cable, which is has a long SATA connector and a small Molex connector that will attach to this conveniently located Molex female there. That's then we attach Attach the, bot, the new cable to the bottom drive, and the supplied cable to the top drive. This is easier to do if you do not have video cameras running at the time you do it. Then. This fits nicely. There. So there you have it. It's fully populated. We have the maximum 4 gig, nothing in the expansion slot, and a two Western Digital Black 2.5 inch drives. So it's booted. So now let's do, let's button it up and then we'll do a side-by-side -side noise and power and length comparison with a uh, dual-core Xeon server that has, for all practical purposes, equivalent power with three times as much of everything else we've just discussed. Thank <laughs> you.